We're very excited. Uh, EcoVision has been working on a project for two and a half years. We've been fundraising, doing research on a community greenhouse. We want to build, uh, build a greenhouse that is uh, environmentally friendly and requires little or no energy at all. We plan to um, collaborate with our foods department in the school and with community groups. We right now have 25 different community groups that have uh, volunteered in some capacity and the foods program is obviously one of our most important um, thrusts. We'd like to uh, provide all the produce or a majority of the produce that can be grown locally to, for, the, uh, for the foods programs. So we're going to grow lots of salads, uh, lots of uh, stew type of uh, vegetables like carrots and um, cucumbers and then uh, we plan to experiment a little bit, maybe draw, uh, plant some uh, subtropical plants and uh, vegetables, maybe even bananas. I'm so excited. It just sounds so cool to just tell everyone like our school has a greenhouse. Like LCHS, we're not a very big city of Lacombe here and we have a greenhouse and we've accomplished so much in our clubs. We have such a good leadership committee here. We work so hard. We have really an exceptional like group at our school right now and we've achieved so much through that. And the greenhouse is just like evidence of all that we can do as a school and as a community. We have three pillars that we needed to accomplish uh, as EcoVision Club and EcoVision students. One was that this had to have an educational impact. Number two is that this had to have an environmental uh, sustainability or have an environmental way of lowering our uh, ecological footprint. And third, it had to have uh, community involvement. We're really excited about the engagement with the community. We have uh, key sponsors that are in place financially, but also the volunteerism has been incredible. Today, for example, we have 10 volunteers from uh, three different organizations. We have uh, volunteers from Home Depot, we have volunteers from Rethink Red Deer, and we have volunteers from our own local community that are just keen on seeing students' uh, dreams become a reality, but are also keen on seeing us grow food locally and sustainably and healthy and to become a member of EcoVision. The dedication, the determination, the leadership skills you learn from it, you won't learn that from anything else. As long as you sit in class, like that's just coming to school. If you don't join in these other things, you're not gonna learn how to build the future that the leaders in our school are building for ourselves because we are getting the skills that we need to just grab it and go and go anywhere we want with our lives and do anything we want and achieve all our goals. EcoVision has taught me a lot about being prepared and always having a commitment and staying committed to that commitment. Like once you make a promise, you have to follow through with it and you can't flake out, which is how we're gonna have to be when we're in the real world. And it just gives you like an extra push and it just um, teaches you so much earlier before you ever get to university or before you ever move out that you know that you can like do these kind of projects and it just makes you somewhere uh, gives you like self-confidence that you can change something and something like uh, building a greenhouse after about a year and a half of working towards um, like writing all our, all the grants we wrote and um, um, getting the improvement from the school board and then finally now like having the greenhouse being built it's just a great sense of accomplishment and it just makes you feel like you can do anything you set your mind to. If you would like to vote for our uh, grant, go to www.fuelingchange.com and look up EcoVision and cast your vote.